why testosterone doesn't always improve erectile dysfunction. But... Well, it, it should do because it improves nitric oxide production. And this is what Viagra also does, Cialis and Mabitra, the five phosphodiesterase inhibitors. You know, why testosterone doesn't always improve erectile dysfunction. But... Well, it, it should do because it improves nitric oxide production. And this is what Viagra also does, Cialis and Mabitra the five phosphodiesterase inhibitors. Do you think okay. it also depends on age though? Um, you know, yes, because as, as you age, some people get atherosclerotic and then the cavernous bodies uh, become occluded, you know, and there's no good uh, vascular supply. In those cases, you need these nitric oxide drugs, medications, but you have to know that these drugs do not give you the urge and the, and the, the feeling to have sex, to have intercourse, you know, which is, it's something primitive, you know, it's yeah. brutal. So you need both. And I suppose whilst we're on this topic, you know, the, the stigma between the Cialis or the Tadalafil and the testosterone, because we'll get men who will say, but I'm on testosterone now. Why is it not helping my erections? Because of vascular it's issues. It's about vascularity. Exactly. And, and so that's where we, I guess you would say, you know, you, you need to have both. It's, it's a two prong approach. You need the testosterone to heal the long term damage. That's why young people do not need Viagra Cialis or Vita. They just need, uh, of course, they don't need testosterone, but uh, they act perfectly with, with, with just with testosterone. All men, they have to use both because they have also vascular issues. Patient who's a young man, let's say in his 20s, who's got fatigue, lack of energy, normal thyroid function, um, borderline low testosterone levels, uh, but says he can get erections, um, would you still think they may be a candidate for TRT? Well, we, ha we have to check out the HPTA panel. Let's, to... let's, let's say he comes in at, we use the American range, you know, 400 nanograms per deciliter, but says, yeah, I, I can get erections, takes a little work, but I can get them all. I, I occasionally... Well, you I can get erections once a day or once a week because some people want to have twice a day. And how, what, what about the duration of the erection? So my, my, my thought on this is, and I, let me know if, you're, if you agree, is that because you're talking about the vascularity of younger people, it, they don't have the atherosclerosis. And so it doesn't take very much testosterone to cause those erections. But if they are smoking, then the, the nicotine leads to vasoconstriction. Yeah, if they're smoking or there's other issues, but if they don't smoke, they can get erections, but they have all the other symptoms of tear. You have to check out SHPG that uh, affects free testosterone. Of course, you're right. If the SHPG is also high. Also prolactinemia, okay, very high. Okay, let's keep it sodal because it's a, it's, a, it's a weird topic, but prolactinemia and elevated SHPG, okay, play a very major role in uh, quality of erections, you know. So it's multifactorial. So... Anyway, I suppose in, in that guy, the testosterone may help if they have low energy. Thank you, Dr. George uh, Tuliatos, for being with us on another excellent video about TRT. If you like the video, please uh, press like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell because we'll have more of these coming out and you don't want to miss them. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, George. <laughs>